Fortnite Battle Royale wants to make things easier for you, which is nice coming from a game where literally everyone wants to murder you. But seriously, it's getting a new update that adds an auto run feature, which I didn't realize I wanted until right now. I'm sure there are a lot of thankful thumbs out there on console since now you can just double click the left stick. This is kind of like other games that have a toggle to run instead of hold to run option, but Fortnite is definitely one that could benefit from it particularly well. On top of that, there's a new chug jug that will give you max health and shields, which, you know, sounds pretty helpful. If you've had trouble hitting the open waters of the Sea of Thieves in closed beta, Rare hears you loud and clear. The developer has announced a two-day extension because of access issues. That means the closed beta for Sea of Thieves will now end on Wednesday, January 31st. Rare is also rolling out fixes for the two early error messages and even advises wannabe buccaneers to acquire the game through the Xbox Insider Hub if they're still encountering problems. For those of you who didn't get invited to the closed beta at all, I'd be willing to bet there's an open beta sometime soon. Betas exist to test servers and they definitely seem to need to do more testing so they don't have a rocky launch. Blizzard isn't sitting in one place like Bastion to go after toxic Overwatch players. In a new developer update video with game director Jeff Kaplan, he said his team is hunting for toxic behavior on sites like YouTube to clean up the competitive environment. I'm curious how that works. This is in addition to new player reporting tools on consoles and more in-game warnings, Kaplan said. Collectively, this has apparently helped cut down abusive chat in Overwatch, which has kind of been getting out of hand. Back on launch, the community seems so nice, but just last week, someone called me a really mean. And that's your daily fix for January 26. Now that you're caught up on the news, check out our Blade Runner 2049 video where the movie's director answers nine of the biggest questions about it. Now obviously, beware of spoilers if you haven't already seen it. Also, you should see it. With that, I'm Alana Pierce. Hope you have a great weekend playing Dragon Ball Fighters, Monster Hunter World, or Celeste. Don't forget to download the IGN app at some point as well. And remember, you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.